Hey y'all from Change Her Life on Bill of Like Channing Tate and Enemy's accent. My name's Jeff. I mean, just uh, my name's Jeff. He like that. He was sensei, but he was like, ah, y'all getting recast and remade. Ah, this gonna be one blade, sweetie. <laughs> they just introduced her so abruptly. Ugh. I don't know. I don't like that. She clearly was in some things. This character felt weird. Child, I wouldn't know. <laughs> His fake to pay. Every you know, you don't have to make a reappearance in one of these, one of these days. Okay, welcome. So we're gonna do a backwards pull review and also a dead pull review. I'm just gonna kind of do them back to back. Coming off the backs of Bad Boys Three, which was the worst Bad Boys, it was obviously way better than Bad Boys Three. Um, I really liked how they made them soulmates. Like that was cute to me. I really liked that. Like cute, it made me look a little da 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 da. But I like them being soulmates. How I always, every time I like, anytime I ever went to the movies, I literally stay for the end, like to the end, 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 because you know they'd be putting any credits in there or any scenes or post scenes in there. So I always stay to the end. So at the end, they had Martin and the donkey, which was a uh, wheel, supposed to be wheel, and like one of their past lives. Back, 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 back in the day, which I. Love. I love him being so amazing. That was just so cute to me. I just thought that was just the cutest day. And then, you know, <laughs> Martin. I guess they had to do that because Martin, in a past, when they had, had him had a heart attack at Will, when I was like, oh my God, here we go again, child, with this. Martin can't do that. And I was like, oh my goodness, I'm about to get exhausted with that. But they, I'm glad they did it because they made him. Think he was invisible. I believe he was invisible. He kept coming. It ain't my time. It ain't my time. Generally, when you're time that day, it could be it could be your time a week later. So he was acting like he was invisible. So walking across the street, when he walked across the street, there then the, the dude walked past him, and he was like, "I'm like that was the weirdest cameo. They must have knew him or something, or we just wanted to put put him in there. Whoever that was, because that was like the weirdest cameo. Like like what is like he was no need for him to be there." Uh, he just stood out. I'm like, why did they have a random person walk and then do this? I'm like, that wasn't it. But oh my goodness, when Will said, I told you I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be all over the place. Whatever popped in my head, that's what I'm talking about. So when Will, I wish when they went to the dude house with the son, and it was the girl and the boy, and I guess they was in a secret relationship. The white man and the girl was in a secret relationship at the at the dude's house when they was on a run, pretty much. Uh, and they, I guess the dude gave them a pair of clothes. Obviously, you can see that they didn't have the, the white men that they stole it from clothes on anymore. So, and we was like, thanks for the drip. I hated that. I'm like, why did they put that in there? Him trying to be hip and sound young. I'm like, why did they put that in there? I did not need that in there. I'm, I'm like, why? They, they didn't have to have no dialogue right there. They could just show them, tell them that they clothes, put on a hug, and we would have knew that he gave them some clothes. Like, you didn't even say thanks for the drip. I don't know who put that in there, who I did it was, but that was a mess. But, um, then they changed Martin's wife. I, to, and the actor they changed her, I do like her, but I'm like, we've been used to the same wife. Y'all roles have been, her role in it hasn't been super big, but it's like, how y'all gonna change her, like, um, deal of, like, Y'all don't want to say nothing. Like, it was going to be shy. It was weird to change on people. So it's like, what is going on? Like, if she didn't want to be in anymore, that's fine. But if they somehow couldn't come to agreement for her, then that's, I don't like that. But if she just didn't want to do it, that's fine. If anything happened to where, like, that's it, the contract or whatever, that didn't work, then that's not weird. I never really like that. They just wished her. Then we never really see his other child. We always see the daughter, the one that's married to Reggie, but we never see. His other child, his other children. Wasn't it two other ones? I know it was the boy for sure, another boy, but I thought it was another one too. I thought it was two boys and then the girl. Don't quote me on that. I'm, I'm trying to think back to the first one. It was out playing in the living room. But yeah, them changing her out like that. It was kind of strange. Then they finally mentioned it when uh, Martin did the, the speech at the wedding. They finally mentioned Martin's sister. They ain't even mentioned her since the second one. They finally mentioned her talking about, you know, hey, you dated my sister. Da, da, da. They finally mentioned that because we ain't heard nothing about that since. It's like at some point she's going to have to make an appearance. It's going to be something with Martin or something that she's going to have to make an appearance. Get ready, you know, you're going to have to make a reappearance in one of these, one of these days. She's going to have a big role, but she's going to have to make an appearance in something. Um, and then it we just knew we, Martin, Martin went in that 
could be so we was like, okay, you don't got that much time, child. You better hurry up. And then when they end up leaving the store, he didn't grab a drink ginger ale. He grabbed the Skittles. Then he knocked them out the Skittles ice cream. Then they had John Sally in it. And then you know they was gonna find a way to incorporate the tape in it. Yeah, he did. So he was at Martin Dreams. And then, you know, they kind of sent it around him, which I did like. Because it's like, y'all just gonna kill him out when he been in it. So then they, you know, kind of, it's still keeping him in the movie without him being in the movie, which I liked. But and then, too, the girl, when she was like, uh, she spurred the dude at the end, um, Will, son at the end, because he saved her daughter's child. I wouldn't know. <laughs> You still, uh, I'm alive with my daddy, so you gotta go. I don't care about that. At the very least, I might not have shot you, but you would have been in jail, prison. But they sons, pretty much, Will son. Uh, why did Martin keep putting air quotes when he kept saying Will son? Like, is that a nice son? Why he Which, I'm pretty sure Will didn't do a DNA test, so he don't know if that's his son. The woman just told him, but he don't know that. Because she was in the cartel of drug dealers. Whatever she was, child, my, I don't know what she was in. Whatever she was in, she clearly was in some things. But he kept doing air quotes. Cause like, why did he keep doing air quotes? That's what he keeps saying, Will son. Like, why did he keep doing it? But, um, I was like, oh, Will. Wife, I wish they would. They didn't really say much about her. I guess she was his physical therapist, but they didn't do no type of flashback scene of them two meeting or being together. You just hear this is a they just introduce her so abruptly. Like, where did this lady come from? They, I mean, yeah, Will got shot last in the third one, so I guess she was his physical therapist from that, but they didn't like I they didn't maybe care about her character enough, but I guess Martin wife. Although we see her all the time, it wasn't like she ever had a, a big role either. But uh, Child Reggie probably got a bigger role. Then. Uh, the other day, like at the end, where because it, it it felt like the the scene when they in the um, second one where he came to the door, come like, can you take the daughter out? It felt like that scene. How they shot it felt like that. Yeah, it felt like. They were trying to do like a play on that. And they was like, he can't, they basically can't punk him no more because he done killed all of me and so they can't punk him no more. So they're like, oh, well, okay, well. How they got sons, both got sons that's beating everybody up, that's crazy. But it seems like that Larry Lar Jane Strong when they both had each other in the group. Um, and uh, then Omar was trying to talk to that alligator. So I'm like, hold on now. I don't have to cry. He like that. He was sensei. He didn't know. We, I like Will having been showing Will having panic attacks because it seemed like he only had it because now he got somebody you know that he cares about. Well, I mean, obviously he had a son, but he ended up a son, and the son was in jail, so it's that whole thing. But now he has somebody he got to worry about, so it's making him have panic attacks because he not just um what do you call it? I'm oh not gonna get word. He's not just like. A, a big risk taker anymore. That's not the word I'm looking for, but he's not a big risk taker anymore because he got a family, a well, a wife to think about and worry about. Which I wish they, like I said, I wish they would have, you would have seen something, a little something to see, seeing how they met or something or try anything. But because if I was like, thank you, I don't really care. Like, I don't care. I mean, they didn't be up enough. I don't care at all. Uh, Oh, I actually thought they probably was going to do that trap, but maybe she's going to have a big role next next time. Then a bad guy in the end, it's always the white man that's on the good side. So, any movie you ever watch, it's always the white man that's in a position of power. It's always, that's always the person that's going to be the villain, or just going to be the bad guy. It's literally, it never fails. I ain't never watched a movie where it wasn't a white guy that was in a position of power that you thought was the good guy. It's literally, it's, it never fails. Um... Is there anything else? Cause I'm just gonna talk and talk and talk and ramble, ramble, ramble. So I gotta make them so mad, but then it made Martin feel this. But then Will was the one. They this is a, they finally reversed it. It never have not never been reversed really. So where we Martin was the one fighting and doing all the good stuff, and then Will was kind of scared, and you know, cause he got something to live for. Now I'm gonna say something to live for. He got something everybody else to worry about. So yeah, he was only having a panic attack. It seemed like when it concerned like concerned his wife like he couldn't get the shot off because he didn't he was scared he was gonna shoot her although he had a clear shot um so that was cool and his one other thing i wanted to talk about what was he did you cross my mind i wish they would have did the 360 thing 
I mean, I mean, since they did the 360 thing, I wish they would have did, you know, from, from now, it wasn't a third one, I don't think, but in the first one, the second one. For now, that's how you try, I was in the first one, then. For now, that's how she was in the second one. I was, but I thought they was going to do that for, for some. I was kept trying to figure out, what are they going to do it on? I thought they was going to bring that back. They would have to figure out something else to say. That's how you fight or something, child, I don't know. But, I don't think that's that on that. And yeah, I think it goes now... I don't know if this one is better than the first one. Second is definitely still the best, obviously, because it's just funnier, but is this one better than the first one? Then I, I don't know if I said it, but I like that they brought John Sally back. They killed him right off, but jeez. But I did like how they uh, brought him back. That was cool. Because he was finally out of jail after all this time, because we only seen him in pretty much a handcuff. Just saying it's over there. Then the, 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 the QR code, code popped up on the screen but you don't think nobody else got their phone out when they saw the QR, QR code pop up like nobody else got their phone out to see the message like that was kind of strange to me but I guess but and that's it I don't got no more on it Deadpool I'm more of a casual Marvel fan like I don't watch everything so I watched the Spider-Mans but not the recent ones, but the one with Tobey Maguire. I might have seen the first one with the, the current Spider-Man, maybe the whatever first one either. I might have seen that one. Um, I seen the Captain America's Chris Evans. Um, I seen all the X-Men. Wolverine, he got so many movies by himself. I haven't, I don't, know, I don't think I've seen all them. I think I've seen Logan but, and some of them, but I don't think I've seen, he got too many of them. So I don't think I've seen that. I, I like Catwoman. I don't really watch Batman. I watched the last one. I didn't like it. Um, it wasn't good. I like the, the, the Last Joker. I don't really watch that, but I like The Last Joker, and I um, watch when, when another one come out. Um, so, yeah, I'm more of a character. I don't, really, I don't know everything. Like, every character, like the one, like Channing Tatum came on screen. I didn't know what character that was. I think if they, I looked it up after a gambit, whatever, I don't know what his power was. Some of cards. I don't know, child, what it really is. Some of his pose, but I don't know. But, um, and then I couldn't understand Channing Tatum at all. I'm like, is that supposed to be the character? So I tried to look it up and they, the other one that was in Wolverine, I watched a little clip and he had an accent but it was easy to understand or like easier to understand. So I don't know. Channing Tatum didn't his accent. My name's Jeff. I need him to stop. My name's Jeff. That always made me, that makes me crack up so hard because they probably wanted him to do an actual accent but he couldn't do it so then it just made it funny. Um, but yeah, I didn't it was his character felt weird. I don't know if that's what the character is supposed to be like. Like when I watched a little clip of Wolverine, that character wasn't weird, but when Channing Tatum was playing, it was just kinda weird. I don't know, it was strange to me. Um, and I love to see Blade. That, that was great. Blade was like, ah, y'all getting recast and remade. Ah, it's gonna be one blade, sweetie. <laughs> I like when he said it was like ah, no, it's only one, one blade. I don't know what y'all got going on, which is good and bad, but and I think there is gonna be somebody that's going to play that blade. Um, I just don't think it's came out yet, but I think it is going to be somebody else, but, yeah, I like, I like to see Blade. That was really great. I like when superheroes are in their own world. All these other, so many Deadpools and so many Wolverines and so many this, then they be making people, people be on alive and then come back. Like, he did survive and Logan, but now since it's so many different worlds, you just can keep bringing them back and switching them. It's just very confusing. It's giving me whiplash. Oh, really quick, I like when they did the first person shooter. I think that's what it's called. I don't remember if I did it in the game somewhere, but I didn't play video on that child. But the whole per first person shooter, I, li I liked it at first, but then I started to get kind of like easy. Like it kind of gave me like whiplash. And I only thought of that just now because I was talking about how they keep doing in these different worlds. It's like, Give me seasick. It's taking me seasick. I don't like that. There's too much going on. Like all the women rings is cool, I suppose, but maybe that maybe the like people that aren't casual fans like that. Maybe possibly I don't know. Maybe I hate seeing. I don't know. But I don't like all of that. That's too much. It's just too much going on. I like my superhero to be in one world. Like Spider Man in his little world, Captain America in his little world. <laughs> Joke in his little world, like Wolverine in his little world. But all this stuff just everywhere is like too much going on. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. It's getting like it's getting um like almost like a, it's making it I have to be like a joke. And like I said, I'm a casual fan, so this is my casual fan opinion. I don't know how all the stuff is going on, but like I don't watch Avengers and stuff like that. But it's just like 
it's too much going on. It's like, oh, because it's almost like you can make anything happen. But you keep doing all these different superheroes, like different Wolverines, different um, Deadpools. Like, you can make anything happen. You never have to stay on script or on the story because you can literally do whatever you want. I don't like that. Like they, you know how Spider Man, they keep making Spider Man different. Like, I don't really watch them one. Like I said, we're totally in it, but they keep making it. And it's pretty much the same story. It's a little altered, but it's pretty much the same story, which is cool. But it's like this thing ain't doing. It's just too much. It's too much. It's too much for me. Like I said, it was cool, but at the beginning, it was just so kind of stupid. Like, then the girl that he was with, remember she was on the live, and then they brought her back, the last one. And now she was in this one. It just feels weird. It just is strange. Then he was working a regular job, like as a car salesman or something, with his fake toupee. It was just strange. It's just like getting strange. It's giving. It's, it's giving like it's a joke now. It's like it's funny for stuff. To, Deadpool is the one that's humor and funny, which is cool. But it's giving too. It's giving like. Oh, what is the word? It's like almost cringe. It's like what is going on? Like. How they kept looking at the camera and doing, oh, Disney this and Disney this. Like, can't say this and Disney and this. I feel good. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't know. It's just, like I said, the movie went bad. Like, when you got through the first part, the first five, 15 minutes, when he actually found the actual load and then he started to pick up. But everybody before that was like, what is this? I don't, what is this? What is going on? I don't, I don't want this. <laughs> I don't know what, like I said, maybe this with the thing is going on, that's what's happening, but I don't know what's going on. Like, I want Catwoman in her own world, I don't need her to be with Batman. Like, the last one, her being with Batman, just Catwoman by herself doing her own thing. I need everybody doing their own thing. Then maybe when Avengers, they can come together, and that's when you can do all this crazy stuff. But when it comes to the specific, like, stop incorporating all these people. It's supposed to be Deadpool movie. Why are you incorporating Captain America? I don't think he was Captain America in this. Was he Captain America? Was he? Because, you know, he was in Fantastic Four, too, back in the day. The, my, uh, said, I'm a casual, so the thing that catch on fire. Torch? Ooh, child, I don't, I don't know. Whatever the thing that get on fire. Uh... Cause I think what is the lady name? Child name, whatever. But uh, I'm trying to think his sister name. That stretch, the stretchy lady. Um, I was I I like I don't like all these murders. So all why other superheroes gotta be in the movie? I don't understand. I get this Deadpool Wolverine. You gotta got Deadpool Wolverine. Why are you putting all these other people into it? Like it just is too much. It's too much. It's too many superheroes in one movie. Like, say, I don't watch Spider-Man more, but say they have Spider-Man, then they got all these different superheroes of Spider-Man. It's supposed to be Spider-Man, not when you want to do adventures, that's when you put everybody in it. That's when you do all the different worlds and this and this and this, my job, my job, but I'm saying, that's what that's for. But when it comes to these specific movies, like Joker, Deadpool, Spider-Man, Catwoman, I just want to see them in their own world by themselves, but not any other, any other superhero. Like, you can cover Batman, Catwoman, I guess, and Joker, because they kind of all go together, but I don't want to see them, really. You can mention them, but I don't really want to actually see them when it comes to the movie, but... Mm, I don't like that. I don't like that, so that's really that on there. Like, I'm done with that. It was cool, but... It's a just, it's a lot going on. A lot going on. Yeah, not right.